Okay, this is how you sew a French seam. Now my seam allowance is one half inch. That is four eighths. I have eighths marked off on my machine here. Three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. Five eighths is, is darker because it's the usual amount of seam allowances on American patterns. Now, half an inch is four eighths, so I'm going to look at this line here. However, when I sew a French seam, I have to sew half the seam allowance on the outside and then half again on the inside. So I'm going to be looking at two eighths. Now there's no two eighths, but you'll notice that this apparatus is the same distance from the three eighths line that the four eighths line is, except to this side. So that is two eighths inch. So that's my line. And then I want to line up my two pieces of fabric. I'm using a piece of fabric with a marked difference from the inside, which is lighter, to the outside, which is darker. You're sewing insides to insides, so that's inside out from what you regularly sew. So right sides to right sides, put it under the presser foot. Get out of the way of the camera. <laughs> Sink your needle into your fabric and step on the gas. Tack. Now, all the while I'm doing this, I'm readjusting my fabric. Don't go too, too quickly. I tend to go very quickly. But at every step I'm making sure the two pieces of fabric are perfectly lined up. Even when they're a bit wobbly. See that bit right there? I didn't cut it very well, but I'm going to cut that off in a second. But I'll just make sure it's as close as it can get. Always staying at that 2 eighths mark on the machine plate. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on the machine. Normally I would do this on my cutting table, but this fabric is so dark it's not reading very well on the camera. So I'm doing it on my machine because there's a light right here and it's shining very well. So you can't really see where the stitch line is, I don't think. I'm running the scissors along where the stitches are. And I'm just going to nip off the edge, this uneven edge here. Just evening it up. So that there are no little threads. Different fabrics, like if you're working with a linen, something that is very frayed on the edges, you're going to have a lot of little bits that you're going to have to cut off. That's not too bad. But you want to cut them off because the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the fabric and you're going to turn it inside out, which is how you normally sew. And now I'm going to move the camera over here a little bit to where my, pardon me, hope that doesn't make you motion sick, to where my iron is. I'll lay the fabric down like this with the right side up and give it a little press and I'm going to press the seam allowance to one side and then I'll come back and press the seam allowance to the other side. Which seems a little nonsensical but it'll make sense in a minute. Then I'm going to flip it over so I have the wrong side of the fabric, and if you can see, I don't know if you can see, let me hold it up. You can see, that's my seam right in there, and I want that to be very sharp. So, 
I'm going to press it and not get steam burns on my hands. I give it a press just to make that nice ridge. See? Nice and neatly pressed. Nice hard ridge. Now we're going to go back to the sewing machine. Brace for motion sickness. Take that seam that I just did, and you can feel where the seam allowance is in there. Now I'm going to put it right up against. I'm going to go a little farther. I'm going to put it right up against the 3 8 inch line because I think it'll work out better. Two eighths, I think, is lying to me. So three eighths. Put the presser foot, needle on the, on the record. Tack. And all the while you're sewing, you can feel where that, where the edge is. You can feel it kind of with your fingernails. Make sure you don't get too close. Cut off your threads. And there. Now that's a French seam. And on the outside, it looks like a regular seam. And it doesn't have any fuzzy bits in there. Because you measured and were careful. And that's how you do a French seam. It takes practice, it takes care, it takes not rushing. That's it. No big secrets. Thanks, guys. Bye.